Hi everyone, I'm Dr. John Martini. I'd like to take just a moment and talk about a very important topic called self-management. I'm sure that you've had a moment in your life where you have achieved, accomplished, and felt kind of good about yourself and started kind of get almost gloated and bloated and maybe puffed up and proud and almost self-righteous and cocky and then notice real humbling circumstances showed up. You did something or attracted something that humbled you, kind of like a Murphy's Law, and all of a sudden, boom, down you go. You've also had moments when you felt really low and, and kind of felt down and felt like you're beating yourself up. And then people came around and tried to lift you up and things started to bring you back up again. What's been found in human behavior is if any time you go above your authentic self and think that you're somehow more successful than you really are and get cocky, you have a built-in thermostat to try to have events come in your life to bring you back down so you can be yourself. And the same thing if you go down, you have events to bring you up again. Nature tends to bring things back into balance inside the human experience. So anytime you allow yourself to get addicted to being up, you attract events to bring you down. And anytime you're trying to, to you know, compensate for that going down, you attract support to get you back up again. I call it the resistance factors and assistance factors to make sure that we're authentic. It's my observation in 40 years of working with human behavior that everything in your life is actually feedback, a homeostatic feedback to get you to be you, the most authentic you, most inspired you. And sometimes we get addicted to one side. We want the, the fame and we don't want the, the down. We want the up, but we don't want to have the fall. But the real truth is those falling mechanisms are actually getting us back into the center. And when we know how to take the downs and actually use it as a feedback, we quit getting addicted to these ups. Now, you may be thinking, well, then, well, how am I going to have achievement in life? Well, I would say it this way. When you master your life, you learn how to master your own emotions and not take credit or blame, but keep focused on chief aim, the key that's the highest priority in your life. The second you start to think you're successful and puff up, you're already probably ignorant of all the things you're not doing that's automatically bringing you down. And if you don't, you'll attract the events to bring you there. So we're not here really for success. We're here to fulfill a mission, something that inspires us, that gives us a bigger vision than the kind of superficial thing called success and failure. When you have a bigger vision, success and failure don't get in your way. But if you think you're successful, you probably don't have a vision bigger than that. That's why you're labeling yourself that. People come up to me all the time and say, well, Dr. Martini, how did you achieve and how are you so successful? And I tell them that. I don't think of it that way. I think of what I'm inspired by, that I'm on a mission of, that I'm grateful for, and I keep working on it. I don't get caught in the labels of success and failure. They're just feedback mechanisms. So the most masterful person is the one who can manage themselves, not have to let the outer environment have to kick them back into the, into the center. So if you find yourself really cocky and up, my advice is ask, who have you forgotten to take care of today? Who did you not serve? What did you forget to do? And humble yourself down. And if all of a sudden you're feeling down, you ask, what did I accomplish? Who did I achieve? What did I make a difference in today? And learn to manage your own state so you don't get caught in these ups and downs and elation, depression, bipolar states. Because a person who's centered is a person who becomes a leader. There's a word called governmentus, one who can govern their own mind. Governing your mind means to take out the vast vicissitudes and all the volatilities of the mind and keep ourselves centered. You see in the news today, there's a lot of people that were supposedly the heroes and the people that had done super achievements and super success, and now they've turned into the villains in some cases in people's perspective. Well, the real truth is they're human beings and they have both sides. We're all human beings with both sides. But the second you take credit, you attract blame. The second you get the other, you attract lift. Nature is trying to bring that balance. So instead of getting addicted to one side, embrace both sides of life. Because otherwise you're gonna be trying to get rid of half of yourself and you'll never be able to love yourself trying to get rid of half of you. If you manage your life by seeing both sides and embracing both sides equally, you won't get caught in the, the illusions of success and failure, the egos of self-righteous, self-raunches, pride and shame and all the things that distract you. Think of it this way. If you infatuate with somebody, you eventually discover there's downsides to them. If you resent somebody, you eventually discover there were upsides to them. Well, then you can do the same thing with yourself. We can call it pride and shame or success and failure. See both sides. Keep a balanced orientation. When you have ambition, you have ambi, both sidedness, and you have a condition of growth. So keep your mind centered, self-manage yourself, regulate those oscillations, keep focused on a bigger vision so you don't label yourself success or failure. You label yourself somebody on a mission of doing something you love. 
When you do, you have the greatest success and you won't end up in the news with highs and lows. Thank you for joining me for this presentation today. If you found value out of the presentation, please go below and please share your comments. We certainly appreciate that feedback. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification icons. That way I can bring more content to you and share more to help you maximize your life. I look forward to our next presentation. Thank you so much for joining me.